On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are here at an undisclosed location with a wild car collection. And I'm gonna tag their channel below, but this is a, a good friend's shop. They recently started a YouTube channel called Epicenter Motor Cars. Like I said, tagged below but this is a mind-blowing collection of all of the coolest enthusiast cars. Not just, it's, it's not another rich collector, as you guys know, where they just buy all of the latest Lamborghinis and, and whatever, you know, they just get on all the lists, they buy the supercars. This is a true car guy that is buying car guy cars, and I can't wait to share some of this collection with you guys. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jergo and I'm here with Brian. He is pulling out his old school BMW M5 right now. And this is a video that's three years in the making. Brian's actually only about 45 minutes away from me, a good friend right down the road. And I've never made it down to his shop before, but now that I don't have a shop hanging over my head to go work at every single day, I can go do cool things like this. And today he said, I can drive. I think what's probably the greatest car in the world and uh, maybe even the newest car in his collection. So let's head inside. We're gonna give you guys a tour and uh, it, hopefully it blows your guys' minds too. It took longer for me to get down here than it did for Shmi to get over here from across the pond. And we're here. I know you guys have probably seen this before on a few other channels. hoovy has been here, shmi has been here. A lot of the big YouTubers have been down here to see this absolutely wild collection. And if you look back here, this is Skittles. And you don't have to buy Lamborghinis to have Skittles. That's what today is gonna prove to you guys. Every color under the sun is represented for the most part, and it makes the cars so much more fun than just all one color, like white or black. So this is Brian from Epicenter Garage. I was just talking about how basically everyone's <laughs> been down here but me. Pretty much, we've been talking about doing we, this for quite some time. So. A long time, yes, a long we time have. coming. And uh, I brought down a cool new car that I'm taking on our on our trip here shortly. Yes. I haven't even mentioned it on the channel yet, so we can't say anything okay. about it. Okay. <laughs> it is very cool though, I'm, I'm kind of jealous. I'm, you shouldn't be. I kind of am though. <laughs> it pales in comparison to the oh, cars no. in here, man. No, but no. This is an insane collection. So we're gonna walk around just real quick, touch on a few things, and uh, I mean, yeah. I was, the colors are incredible too. That's always a nice touch. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I like any color, and there's some cars that you know can wear any color. 911s, for example. We were talking about that. It's like, yeah, it could be brown or whatever, and it still looks cool. They look so. great in brown, honestly. They do wow. actually. They do brown so. with the gold BBS. Oh, yeah, now that, yeah, that's it's a classic look. Absolutely, yes. Well. Let's make a, a quick tour here. First, right. you got the CRX going on here, is that? Yeah, well, yeah, uh, Honda, Honda Civic. Oh, it is? Uh, yeah, okay. it's a, a Civic that I actually bought from Bob, Euro-Asian Bob. Okay. And so he called me up one day, he's like, because he knew I love these cars. Yeah. You know, this is a 95, and so the first year of the SI, and this is, you know, out of all these cars, honestly, I love jumping in this car. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about that car with just the gearbox is so good. It's not very fast. Yeah. But it just puts a smile on my face. It's like a 1.4 or something like that. Is What's that? The engine? It's uh, yeah, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, absolutely, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. One, yep. Single so. overhead cam. Actually, a 1.5, sorry. 1.5. 1.5. Oh, it yeah. probably is a 1.4 yeah. something, and they just round up to 1.5. But yeah, 1.5, single overhead cam. Um, but that probably, I think, 80 horsepower, maybe yep. 85 yeah, horsepower. Eight, that checks out. 80 yeah, horsepower. Right around there. But it's a really nice seat. Now, these paint. The it paint is. is, you know, pretty sad, but I. I'm debating on whether or not to completely restore the car or kind of leave it this way, but I'm I'm probably going to restore it. I've already I've already put in CAD like all the parts that are that are missing and all that. So um, you're going to remake the oh I'm going to remake some of those just parts. A cap. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's just a cap that goes on the end, little bolt on it, so I, I can re see. I can remake all that stuff. So, but the interior is in great shape. It is. I saw the really dash is nice incredible. Shape. Is yes. that factory? Oh no, it's an aftermarket radio that looks factory. Yes. That is incredibly clean. The old yeah. digital claw. Not, kind of. not bad. I've been trying to look for parts for these cars because I remember these cars. I, I'm a lot older than you, but I'd read like <laughs> Sports Compact Car Magazine, you know, and uh -huh. all the parts for these cars. And now you can't find anything. You can't get any it's of that stuff. It's terrible. I yeah. mean, just basic stuff you would think you'd be able to find and no luck. But any little things here and there, but it had, doesn't have any rust on it, which a lot of them rusted away. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was going to polish out. It looks like. Well, I have my test patches here. So <laughs> yeah. I, I try a little different yeah. wax here. I tried it over here. 
you know, so somebody that knows what they're doing could make it look brand new. Yeah. But I'll probably just strip it all down and repaint it. So, but it's got good bones. So it does. Um, what a you cool know, part. starting out with a. Uh, one that is not a rust bucket is your way ahead of the game. You know all about that. That's so. for sure. If they've got rust on them, you're all. Oh, it's a nightmare. Is this a, another? Uh, yeah, 1988 okay. uh, BMW M5. Um, they they made all these in black, at least the ones they brought to the United States. Okay. Um, 256 horsepower. This one has a chip and a few other things done to it. It's probably 280. Um, but yeah, three and a half liter. Great car to drive. So this has to be a U.S. bumper thing. This right? is a U.S. bumper, yes. Okay. A lot of times people will, will uh, drill the shocks out and push them in. Push it in? Yeah, or they'll just go the whole Euro look, and, and it takes a lot of, because these things weigh uh, I bet they do. Yeah, they probably do. 70 pounds. And, so and the Euro them. bumper just does like a notch, right? It does. Okay, that's yes, cool. yeah. yeah, pretty much. Cool. Yeah. And the bumper looks kind of cool. It's, it's not too bad. It's different, it's, right? It is, yeah. it is, yes. It's really funny, a lot of times people are like, well, you had to do the US or the Euro bumper conversion on it. Uh -huh. And then other people are like, no, no, you gotta leave it because all of them are being converted over the Euro. You right. know, so it's kind of nice to see one that hasn't been converted. Absolutely. So, but it would shave probably 150 pounds off that car. <laughs> so. Another 911? No, 911, yeah, I got the engine done on that one. So okay. it's up in a crate. And then, uh, CLK... CLK 63, uh, black series. Okay. Uh, six point, well, six two, but they call them six threes. Sure. About a little over 500 horsepower, 490 foot, 470 foot pounds of torque. Probably the best sounding German V8 ever made, oh, I would man. say. It's fantastic. I just <laughs> wish it had a six speed. It would, it, I, I've, I've scoured the internet to see if anybody's done a, six, a swap on these things. I haven't found one. Okay. But it would be the ultimate car. If you could drop a six speed, or just a manual in it would be, because the transmission, that's, I mean, I love this car, but that's what lets us start out. Gotcha. Yeah. A little slow. Yeah. It's, 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 it's an old hydraulic automatic, if I remember. It right. is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nothing like the new ones. Yeah, DCT swaps are, that, that's the magic right there. <laughs> exactly. That would be sweet. Insane. It would be sweet. So is this a Beck? It is a Beck. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So I've got a new windshield for it. I've got to replace the windshield. It's got a crack. I mean, somebody's getting out and they pulled on the windshield to help pull themselves out and, oh. and cracked it. But uh, honestly, since you drive your cars, it looks like it's an original car. It probably it's got, does. It looks a little beat yeah, up. And yeah, it looks like, like you look back here. If you didn't yeah, know anybody, you might think it was all original. But but no. Now the guy that I bought this from, he lived down in Austin, or actually would commute from. I want to say it was Austin and Dallas, Texas. Okay. And this was his daily driver. Wow. For like five years. He ordered this brand new, owned, I think he had two food trucks, one in Dallas and one in Austin. He would drive this thing back and forth. Huh. I couldn't imagine driving That's, this as my only transportation. Yeah. It's not like you have a top you can just throw up real quick. No, and right? when you do, I yeah. think you can only run like 65 miles an hour and it starts <laughs> flapping. It looks, it looks like a toupee on this car. It looks absolutely hideous on this car. Well, that's that's got to be a lot of fun. That's yeah. for sure. Easy to work on. Easy to like, work on. Stupid easy to work on. All the parts are readily available. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's that's honestly the best part of cars for me. Is when oh. That's uh, people get upset when I sell things like the GTR, but I I do not want to ever order a single part in my life from Japan. It would. And wait. And yeah. wait. And yeah. wait. I don't I don't want to deal with the conversion rate. I don't want to translate the web page. Uh, I don't want to wait for the boat. <laughs> This is what it's about, or honestly. It is. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, if I was going on a long distance rally, like through Africa or something like that, obviously I'd want to top on it. But yeah. they're the easiest car ever to work That's on. That's right. And you know what? They would have parts, parts for a VW Beetle. Anywhere. They would have the parts. You could be stuck in, you know, Timbuktu yeah. in Cambodia or something, and you're going to be able to find the parts. But, yes. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Super cool, man. It really does look like a, a factory one. It does, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've ever even watched that car either. <laughs> so I put a lot of miles on it though. Yep. But it is, it's a fun car. 911, 911. Uh, I know, I know. It's kind of like, you know, the, Miata, the German Miata in a way. I mean, not obviously from a price standpoint. Right. But, but, what, but the problem is, I mean, I love Italian cars, I love yeah. exotic cars, but once you start working on 911s, I mean, you mm -hmm. know, you know, you're the king I, of working on your own stuff. I, except 911, I've never had a 911 to work Oh, no. So, yeah. If you have one, that's why you, it's, it's not the German deep. Miata, otherwise I would have one. <laughs> <laughs> you would go in deep. because I would. I did. I mean, once I started vintage racing one and then you start learning about the cars, especially the air-cooled cars, yeah. how simple they are and how easy they are to work on. And the parts are readily available. It's that's, not like working on yep. a GTR or something like that. Exactly. They're just so much fun. 
They're yeah. just, you know, they're not the most exotic looking cars, but honestly, great to drive, great to look at, and they're easy to work on. So, speaking of favorite car in the world, but yeah. it's, it's behind us here, but the 911 Turbo S is, I think, the greatest car ever built by humans. I, yes. I don't think anything ever tops it. It's the perfect all-wheel drive, the perfect transmission, the perfect amount of power, and obviously as an engineer, and me as someone who appreciates engineering and working on the stuff, the, 9, the new 911 turbos, like uh, boost, uh, recirc system, and all that stuff is like, the, no one it's will crazy. ever beat it. it. It'll never be topped. I no. Don't know. No, and you, every year you think you're like, well, how can they make it better? But they, they do. do. <laughs> yes. They do. How do we get the more power out of this, yeah. basically the same size power? I mean, yes. you know, of course, they bumped them up, bumped them up. But yes. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is, but you're right. The overall, if you had to have yeah. one car to ever to live with. That's it, 911 Turbo a, S. A, you, you can literally, it's, it's, it's got plenty of cargo room. It can be a, you know, a truck if you're down to beat on it. Yes. It's the perfect car. It is, I it mean, is. So I love that. There's a few cars I love in the world. The Veyron again for its engineering. Oh, of course, yes. And, um, uh, and the Aventador for the sound. It's a giant piece of junk, and I think it's also the greatest car ever built. <laughs> I you think know? you're right. Yeah, it's the best worst car that has ever existed. The greatest sound in the world, the worst transmission that makes you feel like you're Michael Schumacher every time you get in it. <laughs> oh man, I love the Aventador. So, yeah. And they're and, beautiful cars. That, yeah. There's some cars that you can sit in a lawn chair and just look at, and that's one of those cars. That's one it's, of those cars. It's just gorgeous. And it's the only car I give a complete pass to to anyone who wants to sit around revving it all day long. <laughs> You know, yes. if it's a Honda, I'm mad. If it's anything else, I'm like, please stop doing that. And that is one of the cars yeah. you do see people doing you all do. the rev matching and all. Yes. I mean, not rev matching, but yeah. Shooting flames. Shooting flames. And, it's, and you have a full license to do it all you want once you're in a Aventador. <laughs> yes. That's fine. You can yes. be obnoxious. And then the other pinnacle of engineering is right here. This is the new Ford GT. And I don't think this could possibly be the actual pinnacle of engineering. I don't think there's anything that's better than this in the entire world. You know, I mean, I mean, I got to hand it to Ford. I mean, I, I mean, I love Ford products in general, but you know, when this, when I got a chance to finally drive this car, I mean, oh man, they, they knocked it out of the park. Yep. It is a very good car. They really did a good job on this car. Yeah. So it's, I, it's it, definitely one of those 50, 50 cars for me where 50% is just the way, I love the way it looks. There's not a bad angle, but the other side is it's just as much fun to drive. So yeah. even with the, you know, dual clutch transmission and you know. I love dual clutches. Yeah, they're, they are good. <laughs> I, I'm warming up to them. Most of my cars are all manual cars, yeah. but, uh, but this, you know, the funny thing is if this car was a manual, it, it, number one, there would be no way to, you sit so close. Yes. There's no, there's no way. I don't think way. you could drive it. There's yeah. no way you could drive it, yeah. but it almost, this is one of those cars, well, for me anyway, I know for you, but for me, it gets a pass having a, having a, an automatic transmission because <laughs> they really are fast. You can barely is, say it. You guys I know, <laughs> I know it's tough for me, but I'm getting there. Uh, but it is, it is a spectacular car. They, the engineering in this car, especially when it's up on the lift. Yeah. Cause I've had the whole, all the panels off the bottom of this car on the lift and you just stand, you're like, oh, and just trying to figure out what their thinking was yeah. on the suspension and, yep. and and all the suspensions hydraulic which is yes. amazing if you guys have ever seen this thing go into v-max mode it can slam itself on the floor almost instantly and retain its handling which is the craziest thing ever of course the giant wing which is also hydraulic isn't it it is yes, yes. hydraulic yeah. yes right. so an incredible wing that generates a wild amount of downforce. I don't actually know the number, but. I, you know, I, I, I did it yeah. one time and I, I'm terrible now. I've, I'm getting old, but I don't quite remember. But but yeah, and it does go into air brake mode as well. Yes, yeah, so you see, you get come on the brakes. brakes and see it flip straight up and yeah. shut this thing down. Yes. And then I think you have the Hefner's up. Right? I do, yes. I had them extend the pipes out a little bit because one thing that these cars are notorious for doing is they'll, They'll stop about right here and then they kind of dribble down the side. But ah. anyway, so anyway, I asked uh, Jason Yad to extend those out and he was like, are you sure you want to do that? I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, that looks great. So he just, and it he, makes it sound so much better. Yeah. You can actually hear the turbos now. Okay, the, okay. the exhaust that's on it is literally like a huge box. Okay. And it weighed, I, when I took it out, I mean, I, I dropped it out the bottom. I was like, oh, man. you know, when you'll take that last bolt out and you're like, uh-oh. Oh, and know, it weighs like, 150 yes, pounds you're or something like You're trying like that. to hold it up there. But, so this exhaust, if I remember, I, it weighs like five pounds. Wow. It's all titanium. All titanium. And right. you pull it out and you're like, well, I paid that for this. You know? Yes. The I've dollar to the dollar pictures. ratio, the oh. weight is, is uh, astonishing, but. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a lot of pipe for no. what you're what you're No, <laughs> no, but it, it but. transforms these cars. And this, this exhaust is also on, what do they call it, the, the GT2? Yeah, the Mark II. The Mark II. The, 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 the track II. only uh, GT. Yes. Yes. 
So very cool. The Hefner exhaust from the race car is on the street car here. Yes. And it's a 2017, right? No, it's a 2018. 2018? 2018. Okay. Okay. You, got the, you got a nice big window in the back so you can see the V6. I know a lot of people were upset about them building a supercar with a V6. I was one of those two when I heard it was going to be a V6. I was like, oh, man, you know, V8 sounds so good. They do. They do they, sound good. They do. But, you know, performance is performance, and they did. I mean, you can see how, because then you start to look at it, you're like, Really, they couldn't have put two more <laughs> cylinders. You can clearly if they move see that back. There's plenty of room. For there's the plenty of room, but then when you get up under the car, you really start to see the aluminum frame on this. You know, it's all carbon until you get to back here. Yeah. You can start to see. You're like, okay, yeah, they really, they really couldn't have put another cylinder. But also, you got to think. I mean, from a marketing standpoint, you know, going to Le Mans and right. racing it, there's a lot of marketing to it. Yes. And so they, you know, engine, this is the same like, engine that's roughly in their truck. They yeah, in the truck, exactly. Yes. Exactly. So they had to do something, it's, you know. But with the exhaust now, it actually it doesn't quite have the V. Obviously, it still doesn't. It wouldn't sound. It doesn't sound as good as if it would have had a V8. But it's pretty darn good now. Yeah, I have driven the second gen, the Mark II. Okay. And I, I love that. That was. It is one of the greatest cars in the world. It's, it's fantastic. It's unbelievable. Fantastic. Supercharged V8. Yes. Crazy. Yes. Uh, I am glad. I just, you know, you saying that it's the truck engine. I haven't heard any Ford truck owners coming around saying, "Well, yeah, I've got the Ford GT." Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe the marketing, you know, that didn't quite, you know, pan out. I mean, exactly. If yeah. it's got a Chevy V8 in it, you can guarantee somebody's going to tell you it's a Corvette engine. That's very <laughs> true. So I'm glad that no one's told me they have a Ford GT engine. No, in the truck. that's that's true. That's true. It's uh, dihedral doors too, right? That's right. Yes. Yep. Amazing. Oh. Yeah. Man, this was truly the very beginning of all the new Fords. It's got the shifter from the edge in there. Yes. I yeah. think it's a, it's a little bit of a parts bin car. Yeah, it but it's got the animations like all the real new Ford cars too. Because, you know, this is, yeah. this thing is actually just bespoke. I know it's parts bins, but it's, right. it's bespoke. Yes. And, yeah. But a lot of it's just stuff that you can get in, a, in an escape. And, you know, the thing is that I... You know, a lot of people kind of look down upon that. I like that because you know it works. Yeah, it works. And, and heaven forbid, you need a part, you need a door space. switch or something that's starting to wear out. Things that yes. you touch all the time, yeah. you know, they're going to wear out. And it's yeah. like, you know, that's okay. I'm not right. that type. I'm like, as long as it works, I'm more about the, you know, performance, number one, looks and how they drive right. um, versus, you know, because um, they did. They got, they got a little bit of, you know, well, it's so basic inside and it uses part, but I don't. It care. looks incredible inside. I don't care. I forgot I was there at delivery day when you picked this up. You were, that's yeah. right. Yep. Yes, we it's were, been we a were... couple years. <laughs> you had all of them out there too. All yes, you have Mel, Mel Hamilton Ford, that's right. I was like, man, it's such a good interior. I've seen it before. I have seen it. When yes. You... Crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's the re entry interior. And then the blue, I had the, the paint the the sample blue. blue. Yep. yep, Gulf Blue uh, from the original back in the 60s. So um, it's, it's uh, the color. There's only like one other one that's painted this blue, right? No, well, supposedly there's not. No, they did. They, you know, they came out the heritage version. Oh, of these, that's why. That's okay. a different blue. I see. So I, I see. had this one. I actually <laughs> sent the paint off that the original paint from back in the day uh -huh. apart and had them match this perfectly because even the 05, 06, well, the 06 heritage, they're a different blue. They have kind of, I don't want to say more green in them. Okay. Um, but if you see them parked side by side, they're quite different. I was at the GT rally and had this here, and I even had it parked next to a, a Heritage new GT, uh -huh. and you can tell the difference. This one's a little older school. The other one, blue, has maybe a little more pop to it. This is a little more uh, dull, I yeah. but I no, this is I perfect. like this. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then I did have put different wheels. I went yeah. with the rotiform. Are they rotiforms? Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, you know, I did have the original. I had the original carbon fiber uh, wheels for this car. Yeah. And uh, of course, the, the tires that come on that are basically slicks. Uh, and yeah. if you're running, if you, and I drive this car a lot, and if you're running anywhere, you know, run 70 mile an hour on the highway, and you get caught in rain. Are they Sport Cup 2s? Sport Cup 2s, okay. yes. And now you've got... Yeah, so this, these are what I have on this. Super Sports. Super Sports, yep. Gotcha. So a lot better rain tire. Yes. Um, and these, I went with a little bit wider tire as well. Yeah. So. And put mud flaps on it too, huh? I did, yeah. So I've taken this, I've taken this on 4 GT ride. I've just got back from Arkansas. We had a roof, rooftop carrier on the top of it. <laughs> so we, we, had, we were hammered down, my son and I. And so we were on some... Uh, not the best roads in the world, and so I did put these on, especially when I had the Sport Cup too, because they will throw rocks out the back ah, like crazy. Yes, they're very sticky. Yes. And even when they're like 
if it's normal temp outside, they're sticky. Yes. It's not just sticky tire. Yes. So did you, I assume you just made those mud flaps on the- I did, I made these. Thing. Yes, I had some for the front as well, but those came off and I, you know, I didn't drill in on those. These actually okay. used the existing holes. Okay. And those I had double side tape and at about 120 miles an hour, they, <laughs> they, left they I no longer have them. <laughs> That's yeah, amazing. we were driving along. I, I heard a noise. I was like, what was that? And when I got out, I was like, oh, that uh, mud flat flew off. So. <laughs> That's cool. But it does have the rock screens uh, yes. down here as well because it does pick up. Yep. It picks up so much debris so, off the front. And, oh, you pull the screws off of those. You do. Um, or a lot of times what you'll do is you'll hit the brakes and then it all, it all flies forward. <laughs> yeah. But, um, Self cleaning. Yeah, but it does have a huge carbon fiber keel that goes up to the front of the car, which is really cool. It looks like a Formula One car in the front because the A arms, the arms on there are probably about at least two feet long on the front. Wow. Really cool. So it's like truly inboard, not it's, just. Yeah, not they, just the they're literally, they bolt in about this close to one another and they really go out far. Huh. I, I think this is the pinnacle of engineering. I don't know if the Veyron Chiron's right there beside it, but that's, <laughs> that's about it. It's a, a Ford built in America. Yes. Somehow right up there with all of the other hyper cars. And I like this. I mean, I love the 05, 06s, but you know, those were built as a homage to the original cars where this one was built to go, just like the original yeah. cars were built to go win Le Mans. Right. Well, I love the fact that this was a race car first and a street car second. Absolutely. A real like technology demonstrator instead of like we did this so we could make some more money. Yes. Uh, yeah. Exactly. This, it's, it's I think the production car. run, I think it ends here at the end of this year. I heard they're done with it. They are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, it ends in the, the last deliveries. I think the last hundred plus cars are going to be delivered I think early next year and then it's done. So. And they already quit Le Mans. They last, did. That was a four year program. Year uh, two years two ago. Two years ago? Two years Yeah. Ago. From 2016 okay. to 2000, yeah. or 2020. So okay. yeah, two years ago is when they, when they stopped. So, um, well, it sure did well. For it did right out of the box. It did well, and in the subsequent years, it didn't do quite as well. Yep. Um, but there was a lot more competition, and the balance, uh, the BOP balance of performance, started to hurt them a yeah. lot. Yeah. So because these actually have more horsepower than this in the race cars. Okay. And by okay. quite a bit, I think about a hundred more horsepower. I think the wow. race cars put out about five fifty. These are right around six fifty. Okay. Um, but of course, the race cars are obviously the down. Way lighter so too. Lot, much yeah. lighter. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They can ditch all the creature comforts. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 Manual kind of flat orange. Yeah, manual. Manual Gallardo. Yeah, manual Gallardo. A lot uh, of fun. So we don't we don't want to let them down. Cobra R. Yep. Cobra. Uh, Lotus Esprit. Yep. Uh, Lotus Esprit Turbo. Turbo. Okay. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah. And uh, more. Uh, Eighty nine and more nine eleven. Yeah. yeah you, well, can never have, you can never have enough nine eleven, right? I was gonna say a nine eleven, a Japanese nine eleven. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> This is one of my first cars. I saved up and saved up and saved up and bought this car from Motor Cars International. Okay. Oh my gosh, in the 90s, late 90s. Uh huh. And had like 4,000 miles on it, and I probably have 80,000 miles on it. Wow. Now. So this is my daily driver. That and my old Taurus SHO. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I've, I've worked on this car. I put Taytech exhaust on it, Taytech headers on it. Because they did, the stock cars, they just. They drove, they drove like a fast Honda Accord. I mean, right. a Honda Accord now will probably not run it. It'll probably right. smoke it. Yeah, it will. It will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah everything but the, but the Comptech supercharger, wasn't that? That was the other. Yes, you could put a Comptech, yep. you could put the Bosch. Bosch came out. There's a big dealership in California, Bosch Acura, that they came out with a supercharged form. But I, was, I almost did that, but I just thought it would change the car too I think much. It would. I like I the naturally it would. aspirated yeah. car. And it's the all about is, the RPM and the sound. Yeah, I mean. and then you add all this horsepower to cars. And then they had their light on their feet. They handle great. And then you throw like a supercharger on it. And all of a sudden it feels heavy. It feels like the car's ruined. Yes. So I do think you're probably right. A supercharger might ruin the car. Yeah, I think it so would. It's a weird thing to say. I think, I, I think it would. A lot of guys put, a lot of people have put tur twin turbos on these and those sound fantastic. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just, I just like it the way it is. And then the, uh, the Ford GT. Yep, uh, GT40 is a super yep. performance of Mark 1 and a Mark 2. Of course, the Mark 2 came before the Mark 1. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are super performance, so they're pretty much, I mean, almost nut and bolt, just like the original cars. Both of these have 427s. This one has a Roush um, fuel injector 427 in it, right hand drive. With uh, ITVs. ITVs, yes. That's crazy. Here yeah. we, we got to get in here close for this. So, you like you, like Brian said, you guys can see there's wide bands hanging out in there on the exhaust mm -hmm. and uh, ITVs, fuel injection. That is incredible to see on yeah. what, what yeah, should we, be we an old car. 
It should be an old car, but it's honestly brand new. Yes, it's. I've, I've racked a lot of miles on this car. Yeah. Um, I've taken on different rallies and so on and driven it from North Carolina. But great driving cars. They're so comfortable. You wouldn't think these cars would be comfortable, but yeah. if you have a fairly decent amount of room inside, you can spread your legs all the way out. Um, Their work is incredible. Like this, this mount with the ducts for the oil cooler and then another duct to cool the brakes coming off of that through the... Yes. the duck there and the cow just unbelievable and they did it just like the original cars that's what i love about super performance they didn't they didn't make you know compromise say well you know what we need to put some more leg room here we need to do this we need to do that they just recreated the exact cars but just out of better materials awesome the fiberglass is i don't know if you've ever seen original gt40s but they're they're pretty rough they're yeah very rough well, so the glass the fiberglass is so much better they're just they're just a better engineered car are these uh, Penske's or something like that? They are on those. I don't know. That's a great question. Eibach springs with it looks. It looks kind of like a Penske shock. I bet. The, I bet so. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. But no AC. Well, actually, this does have AC. Really? It does. I didn't see it. Yes, it does have AC. So it's got the AC system up in front. Okay. And it it works really good. Huh. Now it's, you know you're not gonna get in and like on a hot day and freeze yourself, right. but it will maintain a good, decent temperature inside. Huh. So both of these actually have AC. That's incredible. Heaters and of course heaters, easy, yeah. but yeah. but yeah, they do have AC. Wow, I was not oh. expecting you yes, to say. Yes, they do, yeah. <laughs> more of the 911 collection. Yes, more 911s, uh, another Miata. Another NA. Yep, another uh, a C4, uh, 964. That one's, I'm gonna be turning that one into on Epicenter Garage, I'll be turning that one into kind of a rally car, lifting it up a little bit. Oh, cool. Uh, Doing pulling the engine safari out. Thing. Yeah, a little okay. bit of a safari car. <clears throat> so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, but I, we'll see. I've got some ideas. But Does it end with big lights on the front? At least. It at will. Least it will yeah, well, yeah. So it's going to have massive lights in the front. <laughs> okay, good. It might even have some on the roof, actually. Awesome. Too, so. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, something I, I think a lot of you guys will appreciate, because a lot of us are the same age as this unbelievable sti right here i love it's, sti does this have like three miles on it is that so this one no this one has more miles this one has about forty thousand miles i bought wow. i bought i love them so much i bought another identical one uh -huh. which is all original so this one's been modified i like the fact that it doesn't look like it's been modified a little no. bit it still has the stock wheels and stuff on it i mean it's got the rally armor and the tow hook yes but the, none of the wheels have a scratch on them no. which is why it immediately looks like it doesn't have a single mile right yeah i bought this from a gentleman out in colorado and he took fantastic care of it and this one puts out about 360 horsepower at the wheels um and i've had this one for a couple of years now and just oh, i just love these cars they're just so good is this all the usual stuff like cob tuner and yeah it has it has that yeah i mean not not too not too much different exhaust i put a taller shifter interesting shifter yeah yeah i kind of i kind of fab that one up because i gotcha. like the shifter close to the steering wheel kind of like the yeah. rally cars where you yeah. just you can hammer through the gears a little bit better and it looks like easier. defi gauges up in there those yeah. are amazing yeah. gauges yes nice head unit it still looks brand new, I gotta say. It's it in, yeah, it's harder, it's harder and harder to find these in this yes. nice, nice condition. I mean, they are all clapped for the most part. Yes. Uh, yes. Everyone that was, when this car was a big deal, we were all 20. <laughs> you know, my, my, yeah, yes. your age, yeah. And man, I, mean, I, I like to think we did nice mods, but I know most of them just got beat with eBay mods. They did, and yeah. then it got handed down to the third, fourth, fifth owners, and then... And then it was all bad after that. It was. Then, then they got put on uh, $100 coilovers, <laughs> and right. uh, the fenders got rolled, and it's all over after that. That's, That's right, uh, front rear bumpers taken off, yep. inter, you know, intercoolers put down big low in the front, big intercoolers. <laughs> yes. and, uh, and it makes 5,000 horsepower after that yes. big intercooler. Yes. That's, you got a TR. Yep, 80, 86 Testarossa high mirror, center knockoff wheels. Um, just, I just had this one up at Black Horse Motor Works. He, he did some stuff. I, I love working on this car, but man, Vince up, uh, Vince up in Kansas, Vince and Chaz up there, they, yeah. they know these cars. They know them in and out. Sure. And um, if you have people that have experience with these cars, know little things to look for and, and to fix on these. But I love driving this car. The best thing I ever did on this car was put. Uh, Capristo exhaust on it because they're a little bit like the NSX. Yeah, you would drive and you're like, eh, it didn't quite sound right. It does sound a little like dull, and that yeah. Capristo always makes it sound like a, in a, an F1 car. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. I had the same for several years. The stock exhaust. I'm like, why didn't I do that sooner? <laughs> So, because the Capristo costs. I, I, it took me that long to save the money up to costs, buy the exhaust. It costs a Subaru. That's right. <laughs> it does. You're right. You're exactly right. And then 
And then, of course, more of the 911. More 911 variants. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that one. The white one over there is a C4. This is a C2. They drive considerably different, huh. um, lighter weight, and so forth. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I've racked a lot of miles on that one. And a GT3 One of my RS. favorites. Yep. Great car. And yeah, a manual. Uh, manual. Yeah, yep. manual car. Uh, I think I think the pinnacle. Even the, the new GT3 RS is a separate great, and the, but sure. now the wings. I don't see pictures of them. Yeah, look. the 992 wing is like it's up here. What it's you, too big. It's, it's, it's gotten overboard. It's yeah. gotten overboard. This is. I, I did pick my make little winglet deals for the size. I took the big wing off of this one just to drive it longer distances. because sure. It's kind of huge and obnoxious. And it a little eats bit. gas. Oh, yeah. it, it like, the wing it takes so much power. It does. It does. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. PCCBs too. Yeah, this one does have the carbon ceramic brakes on it yeah um, carbon buckets carbon seats it's got a couple different options a carbon fiber interior option bits here and yeah, there yeah see the full carbon center console yeah you know what that's what that new car i just got named that's it's got a little go. bit of wear on the paint oh. if i could just get that and you can get those you can get them for what you bought really pretty inexpensive <laughs> absolutely I, well yeah then it'll then i'll be another 20 year old ruining a car I got <laughs> yeah, that's right yeah. it's a bad bad idea but that's it looks right. incredible in this yeah uh, another one of your race cars yes a replica rsr yeah replica. this started out as a 1973 a 911 so it's always been a 73 and then it was yellow canary yellow it was a sportmatic which those car transmissions were just Hideous. Dogs. Kind of like, they're, not, they're yeah. probably worse than the Tiptronics back when the, uh, in tip, the 964 days. Tiptronics pretty bad. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so we, I, we restored this car. It's a 3.2 twin plug, um, about 300 horsepower, 280 horsepower, right around there. What? 915 Are, gearbox. They look like super traps. But yeah, they're, they're, these were called, like, they called them cookie cutters back in the day. Cookie and cookie. so these were this, basically the, the exhaust they used to run. Okay. So obviously you've got you know left bank coming out of this one, the right bank coming out, or vice versa. Yep. Um, pretty loud. I bet it's loud. But they make a very distinct sound at high RPM. Okay. Um, yeah. So. I bet it sounds incredible. Oh, and that billet great. tow hook's really cool too. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I never have to use that. I get pulled out of the sand trap or something. But. <laughs> the worst. Yeah. Then you're just embarrassed, honestly. Oh, so pretty the, much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 308. Yep, 70, 77, 308, carbureted 308. I've got a couple 308s, but this yeah. one's by far the most fun to drive. Carbureted cars are just, that intake noise. They make good intake is, noise. It's fantastic. I hate working on them. There's yeah, nothing I hate more I than working I know. on them. But. I know. It. And then uh, Viper GTS. Yep, 97 yep. GTS. The poster color and everything for the most part. Yes. Yep. When they launched these things back in 96, I was up at Road America when they uh, launched that car and I wanted one so bad, and then down here in Arc City, they had one for sale forever at Zeller oh, Motors. Oh, Zeller? And my friends in college would go out drinking, and I would go down to McDonald's and grab two cheeseburgers and sit outside the window and think, <laughs> one of these days, it was $66,000, like $970, like one day, I'm going to buy one of those things. So, but Amazing. yeah, so now I'm lucky you, enough to have one. I think you paid considerably less than $66,000, Those things right? were, I bought that car, uh, yeah. I want to say... In the 40s, I think. Yeah. And they yeah. were 40 something thousand dollars forever. forever. And just and in the last probably six months. Skyrocketed again. Yeah. It's yep. crazy, but you could buy them all day long for 40, 45,000. I mean, there were third gens floating around in the 20s and stuff like there that. There were. It was crazy. Yes. Crazy. Yes. And then, uh, of course, a classic. Oh, you know all C about these. C5Z. You know. I these. think I'm done. I think. Oh, you I, are? I've owned, I think, eight C5s now. And after I sold the Pro Charger car recently, I think I said I'll never buy another C5. You will. I think I'm. <laughs> I will. think I'm done. Uh, they're great uh, cars. Though. They great are cars. good yeah. cars. So I've never had so. The difference between what do you think between the C5 and like the C6? Big, oh, big the C6 is a is a much better car, honestly. Not to mention one of those the the seats have they're so much more plush and it just is nicer on road trips and since I try I like road trip all the cars for the most part the C6 is a cut above at least really it might not look I mean the C5 is a very classic look yeah. you know all the video games posters movies but the C6 is a big step up and honestly after driving the C8 I don't I, it's up there it's getting close to these things the, the C8 is incredible I've got a chance to drive one of those yeah. and I didn't want to like them right because I'm, I'm not a, I wasn't a huge love yeah. with the looks and I know you, you drive probably, one you're like oh you probably don't love it. it's a dual clutch but I I it's love it it's so good they're fantastic and the interiors it's, are so nice so now. nice it's Just, crazy it's right there with the 911 Turbo S with the it transmission is. that always does exactly what you're thinking it should be doing 
Yes. Or or is right ahead of where you were wanted to be. And those aren't even dual clutch, are they? They are. They, they are dual clutch. Okay. 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 Yes. okay. Which is kind of incredible. They okay. snap off the ships. Yeah. R32 GTR. Yes. Another GT. You know guys. those. Yeah, two of them here that you know very well. Yep. Yep. And. Yeah. 308 and another STI. So this is the low yes. mile STI over here? Very low miles, all original STI. Uh, I thought it wasn't original because it, it had a uh, strut tower bar. Okay. I did a video on it and the guy's like, nope, actually that was stock. You could order that with the car or at least it was wow. a, a Subaru car. It was I an see. option or you can buy it from the dealer and put it on. Um, but yeah, it's completely stock and it's really fun to drive those back to back. Yeah. Just to, to see the, the difference. Just to see the difference. The extra like 100 horsepower on the exactly. bolt-on yes. car. Yeah. Yes. There's a huge difference. It's honestly. a huge difference. Yeah. But I honestly, I like the way that run. It's probably because I'm getting old. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. it's like, I like the way that no, one drives better. Stock cars, I love almost, the power, almost always the stock car is better. Now. Isn't that crazy yeah. how yeah. that is? Yeah, it yeah. really is. Yes. Nine, stash of 944s. I think we covered some of this. More yeah. race cars. Honestly, there's so many cars. I don't know. It could take another hour for us to get through. Yeah, I mean, I've got quite a few cars that are not here as well. So yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, I needed to figure out, my goal was to never have too many cars where I couldn't park them in their spots, but yes. yeah. There's plenty of spots open. There, there's plenty of spots open, so yeah, I'm I good. Saw, I I'm saw good. at least seven spots that were open or something. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm, so I'm good. I guess radio call yeah. for the team. Yeah, radio call and drink button. That's right. Let's, the suspension is in... So right now you are in just regular drive. And of okay. course you do have a comfort button down here, which okay. makes no difference at De all. Really? Oh, it's, yeah. It, it's, sorry, you are already comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Even on a bumpy road, you'll hit that change it back and forth You're like it's got to make it do something and <laughs> it doesn't do it it doesn't do so much. this has a basically a, a, a no lag system on it okay and so it i want to say it delays that a little bit so ah. doesn't the shifts don't hit nearly as hard gotcha. and your foot you'll notice here when you get on the open road try go through all the different modes you'll notice so if you're driving of course you can put it in cruise control but i never use cruise control but you'll notice that if you once you put it in sport mode it's a little you know it's a you know, the it, throttle is really touchy. Yeah, it gets touchy and the transmission's yeah. a little jerk here. You got it. Gotcha. Yes. I see now. It has a perfect match to the switch in the gauges, yeah. which is beautiful. Yes. That's so well done. So it's in drive, but it still has to be manually shifted? No, no. So you're in drive, so what you can do here, uh, you can okay. swap, okay. but then you will hit the man. You want to go full uh, manual I see. mode? I see. So here, now you're, you're full manual mode now. It won't jump back down. So you though. can be in normal mode in full manual, then you can go to sport mode full manual as well. I see. So you'll 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 be able to tell the difference pretty quick when you get out. You start putting so the camera down. Is VMAX I guess that's front lift. That's front lift. Very fast. Okay. Really yeah, because on all most of front lift cars, they're really slow, honestly. Yeah, you sit there and you're gonna hear them and yeah. this is just basically Yeah, you need like in thirteen seconds. I can't tell you how many times we've needed it to be instantly on rallies when all of a sudden we're we're in the Huracan or something and there's a huge dip and you know there's traffic behind you and we have to like light the brakes up and get up and we're trying to hit the lift and do all of that at once and yes. it's like the car just says no. What really surprised me on this car are the brakes though. Are they incredible? More than anything else in this car is the brakes. We'll we'll find out here. You love the the brakes are just astonishing. That's insane for 30 mile an hour. It's yeah. 
miles <laughs> off we're flying. to express it but it slammed to the ground yeah okay, so now you, you, put you do drive. actually have to yep, shift it put a drive and then you'll okay. have to go back to the manual mode back in the manual you know. oh i love i saw the tack on the steering wheel do its magic yes but this time i saw it go the other way to show you that you're in manual and the other way to show that you're you can feel that you were much lower yeah it feels stiffer too yeah oh yeah much stiffer GT. Yep. yep. <laughs> that was the cleanest, like, second gen Ram. I know. Oh my gosh, man. You don't see him that much. Yeah. I was like, where'd you get that truck? That's what we want to know. <laughs> you want to sell it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, as I expected, honestly, it exceeded my expectations of being probably the greatest car ever built. I don't know, I haven't driven a Chiron or a Veyron, but this thing is literally the pinnacle of engineering. I know the comments will be, there's not a V8, but I promise you guys, this thing is unbelievable. Not to mention it comes on boost so fast, and once it does, it's you just see numbers flying. That's all you see. You can't read the numbers. They change so fast. What a car. Thanks for making my dreams come true, bro. Absolutely. Anytime. You are welcome here anytime. That was awesome. a lot of fun. Any any excuse to take this thing out is a good one. And nobody went to jail. No. We had a lot of chances to go to jail in a five-minute trip. Yeah, that may be three. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Well, go subscribe to his channel, Epicenter Garage. Link below. Thanks again for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com for cool shirts not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. And a classic floor cleaner. You gotta have a floor cleaner. Oh, that's, I love, I mean, I love that thing. Man, you spill something down and you get on it and you just, and you just go. Well, you can't clean. That's, I quickly realized once I got my building with how big it was. Huge, you had a huge building. Yeah, you can't get a broom out and clean anything. No. You need like a team of, you know how they clean things in movies where you see like seven people standing. <laughs> in a line, yeah, ball, like at a, at a ball, yeah. ballpark yes. or whatever they're yes. going across. Like, it's yeah, either it's that, squeaky. you gotta have a team or you gotta have a floor cleaner, one or the other. Yes, you it's do. It's just too much room. Yes, that was the best money I think I've spent on anything. <laughs> Dude, it's, a, it's incredible. They are.